18. The Lord gave me these words clearly to start by telling someone who can't afford to miss out on what God is about to do in your life and in your family today. You are in the deepest deeps. You are in the lowest lows. Right now, it seems like all hell is breaking loose on you. It's important to understand that the season of battles always precede the moments of the birth of a new thing. Battle signifies that you are the curve of a turnaround. It is always very clear that any time a woman goes into labor, labor pain always precedes the birth of a new child. I'd like you to keep that in your mind, that labor pain always precedes the birth of a new child. The labor pains you are going through now is indicative that a new season is about to be birthed. The contractions, the pains, everything around that looks like it's like you've just become the point of target. It's like every archer wants to shoot at you. I'd like you to know that nobody carries out an assassination plan on someone who is irrelevant. The reason why the plans are so heavy on you is because her schedule is being interrupted by your presence. And I'd like you to know that the word of the Lord is asking me to tell you to forget about what has happened. Even Isaiah 43 in verse 18 message translation. It said forget about what has happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert now. Be present God said, I should tell you, I'm about to do something brand new. I, I, I'm reading God's word to you. God said, be alert, be present. He said, I'm about to do something brand new. He said, this one will bust out. It can't be contained. What heaven is about to do now will bust out. He said, can't you see it? He said, there it is. I am even making a road for you through the deserts. I'm making a road for you in the desert, through the deserts. I'm not going to make the deserts disappear, but through the desert, I will make a way for you. Will somebody open your mouth now and begin to give him praise? Just say, my father, my father, I thank you. Because I've entered into the season of the birthing of new things. I thought everything was against me, including you. But now I understand that hell's rage is because I'm about to move into a new face. I'm going to say that again. Hell's rage is because you are moving into a new face. He said, forget about what has happened. Forget about how many times you've prayed. Forget about how many times you've tried. Go again. Go again. Go again. I hear he has gone before you. This time the story will be different. This time the results will be different. Oh, come on, somebody begin to give him praise. Begin to give him praise. He says, stop going over old history. Say, my father, I let go. My father, I let go of the past. I let go of my pain. I let go of yesterday. I let go of disappointments. I let go of failures. I let go of mistakes. I let go of falls. Lord, I give it over to you right now. In the name of Jesus, be alert. Be present. Say, my father, I'm here. I'm in your presence now. No distraction. Open your mouth and give them praise. Something is about to shift for you and your family today. Hash come and and tell is his soprato friend and the aprastoke. And the balvini non get ikos ke labrasto. Let everything that has bread begin to praise our God. 
begin to magnify God over your circumstance. Begin to bless the Lord over your situation. Open your mouth and begin to tell him how great he is. Begin to tell him how wonderful he is. Begin to tell him how majestic he is. Begin to call him by his name. If you can call him in your language, call him in your language, in your dialect. However you want to call our God, begin to bless the name of this God who has lifted you up. Begin to bless this God who has brought you this far. Begin to bless this God who has turned your life around this much. Begin to bless this God who has lifted the burden off your shoulder. Begin to bless this God who has taken destroyed the yoke over your life. Begin to bless this God who has taken you out of darkness and has placed you in his marvelous light. Begin to bless this great God who has brought you from the backside to the forefront. Begin to bless this great God, the one who is making a way for you. Begin to bless this God, the one who is granting you your new promotion. Begin to bless this God, your healer. Begin to bless him, your sustainer. Begin to bless him, your rock. Begin to bless him, your pathfinder. Begin to bless the God who is your trailblazer, trendsetter. Begin to bless this God, the banner over you that is love. Begin to bless this God, the one who sustains his words in your life. Oh, somebody worship him. My heart is on fire for him. Who is like unto our God, who has rescued you from too many troubles. Who is like unto our God, who has not given you over to the will of your enemy. Who would have ever thought that you and your children will come this far. Who would have ever thought that God would have done your family this good? Huh? Who would have ever thought that God will bring you through that trouble? Who would have ever thought that your family would have survived this much? If there is a grateful man huh, and a grateful woman watching right now, if you want to jump and praise him, if you want to kneel and praise him, if you want to roll on the ground and praise him, if this God has been good to you, if he's brought you through a mighty long way, if he's brought you over mountains, if he's taken you through the valleys, if God has brought you through hell's kitchen and you don't smell smoke, if he's been the bridge upon many waters, if this God has been the one that fills the heavens and the earth is his footstool and yet is your friend, why don't you give him praise? If God has been merciful, if God has been kind to you, if God's loving kindness has been poured towards you, why don't you give him some praise? Sedemente kukupon tu ras katalia, libron di baros celebrenda katia. Ah, fear not, I have come before you. The Lord is saying to somebody, fear not, fear not. Mikula kikupon sufre tiata, has candele bunde ritos katia. I've turned it around in your favor. It's turning around in your favor. It will turn around in your favor. I've gone ahead of you. I've made the crooked path straight. I'm hearing it will end in praise. I'm hearing it will end in praise. I'm hearing it will end in praise. Lesson from me and the lecast of Aliata. Holy Spirit will turn it over to you. Kulipon Veretisco Telendesta has shanti kupon fratesiata. I hear fear not. The cycle will not repeat again. Nukufra de mano zile pantosta. Helenem brukatesiata. Mulika non de bratesiata. I hear the last time you saw that thing is the last time you will ever see it. You will never see it again. You will never see that reproach again. You will never see that shame again. You will never see that disgrace again. 
Begin to give him praise. Begin to give him praise. Kutumande la kusekatia. Librando fretusa la gracia. He shandi lupanti koskete. I'm hearing it. No more dead ends. No more dead ends. Ah, no more dead ends. You will never get to a place in your life again where you say there is no more way. You will never get to a point in your life again where you will say there's no more solution. I say over you no more dead ends. Begin to type and declare not in the life of my children. No dead ends. Not in my family. No dead ends. Not in my business. No dead ends. Whatever they call a dead end will be a new beginning. Every demonically scheduled dead end will be a new beginning. They thought this is your end. It is your new beginning. It is a new beginning. It is a new beginning. Is there anybody praising God? Say, my father, my father, I thank you because every dead end will be a new beginning. It is happening right now. There's a family that seems to be at a dead end. But the Lord said, look around. There is a new beginning. There is a new beginning. There is a new beginning. According to Isaiah 43 verse 2 message translation. Isaiah 43 verse 2. It said when you are over your head. I will be with you. When you are in rough waters. You will not go down. Madam you will not go down. This family will not go down. You are in rough waters. You will not go down. You will get to your destination. You will fulfill your destiny. These rough waters will not drown your family. Who am I praying for? Your family has been in rough waters. You've been in rough waters. But the Lord sent me to speak calmness. Peace be still. Peace be still. I speak peace to your rough waters. You will get to your destination. This will not drown your family. This will not drown your family. No coupon to Rascata Piata. It's been rough lately. Coupon Pia. It's been rough in the family. It's been rough. Rata Kuskitele Gondepa. Lupon Tival Katis Kanesiata. But I hear the Lord saying, I shall tell you, peace be still. Peace be still. The waters become. Your rough waters become. It's been rough, but the Lord said, calmness comes now. You will survive this. You will thrive. You are coming out clean. You are getting to your other side now. In the name that is above every other name. Let the south wind blow. Let the south wind blow over the troubled waters of your life. Arrive at your destination. I'm praying for a family. You are coming out of this rough waters. Now, calmness upon your rough waters. You are not going down. Heaven is holding you up. You are not going down. Your family will not drown. Your business will not drown. Your destiny will not drown. My God sent you life boys. My God sent you heavenly lifeguards. Heaven is coming to your rescue. You will not be drowned. Somebody type and declare, I will not drown. Peace in your rough waters. Peace in your rough waters. I'm poor you will not drown in this. You will not drown in this rough financial waters. Somebody is in a rough financial waters. Sakata. It's been rough in the last few weeks, in the last few months, in the last few years. You've been traveling on rough financial waters. Just when you think you are surviving this wave of trouble, another wave hits you. Just when you think you are trying to stabilize your life, another wave hits you. But I hear the Lord saying, I should tell you, peace upon your waters. Calmness comes to you now. You will not be drowned. 
you will not drown in these rough waters. Amen. You are not going down. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen to this in Isaiah 43 verse 2 message translation. It says, when you are between a rock yes. and a hard place, when you are between the rock and a hard place, a hard place is harder than a rock. However you want to call it, the two things are hard. You turn this way, what looks like a solution is even a bad solution. You turn the other way, bad solution. It's like being between Pharaoh and the Red Sea. When you are between the rock and the hard place, the Lord said I should tell somebody who is in that situation. Everywhere you look, it's like you are landlocked. It's like you are hard locked. It's like everywhere you turn, it's hardship that surrounds you. The Lord said I should tell you, it shall not be your dead end. This won't be your dead end. I hear the Lord said, if you can't go forward, and you can't go backward, he said, I'm pulling you upwards. The Lord said, you are coming out of this. It will be supernatural. You are coming out supernaturally. Who am I praying for? Who am I praying for? God is bringing you out supernaturally. Just like the Jews. You never could have thought that there will be a way in the Red Sea. Even so right now, how you will come out of this, you don't know. But my father said, I'm bringing you out. If you are the one I'm praying for, type and declare, I'm the one. I'm coming out. I'm the one. There are 1,000 of you hearing me. Type on the one. I'm coming out. My family is coming out. My children are coming out. It all looks hard. But you are coming out. Stupaligando siata. Iraten telecosta. Stande porieta. Your son is coming out. Your daughter is coming out. Your husband is coming out. Your children are coming out. Every member of your family is coming out. Call your friends now. Invite your family members in a hurry. Get everybody to join us now. Subanti Velkutala. Boronto Palkiketende. Shandi Baroski Apea. You are down, but you are not out. Who am I praying for? Micah 7 7. The message translation gives me a prophetic word for you. The Lord said I should tell you it is true that you are down. And it is also true that you are not out. I come to speak over your life now. You are coming back up again. You've been down but you are coming up again. Your family has been down but you are coming up again. I hear the Lord said the season of being on the ground is over. I hear the Lord say, you are coming up again. Amen. You've been Amen. down, but you are not out. Amen. I hear the Lord saying, I should announce to you, I'm coming to your rescue. Amen. I'm coming to your rescue. Amen. Begin to give him praise. See yourself coming out of it. See yourself coming out of it. You are coming out of this now. You are coming out of this now. Out of this pain. Out of this disease, out of this affliction, the Lord is pulling you out of it. Kubanto frakates kata, si no shamante le kuste gas, libonda resile monti kaprando ziyata, shopande blekat. Begin to invite your friends, because God sent me to break twelve patterns. God sent me to break twelve patterns. Offer your family members, offer your sister, offer your wife, your mother, offer your daughter, offer your son, your brother, your husband. Tanda velia toshkata, she pray to frinda liko seketia, linomundi rikuti prande sata, lenomundo shakam bretuzia, liko pande bretosi katia, handi bolu suprati ana nes kaleda, hashande li apanto fregetista. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the God of heaven. Amen. Who has been with us here for over 520 days. 
showing himself strong, strong with diverse healings and miracles. The God who has healed double vision on this platform, take away lumps in the breast, cause people to get their immigration status. The God who has granted residencies, work permits. The God who has given miraculous jobs and financial breakthroughs. The God who has suspended protocols in order to bless his children. The God who on this mountain has taken migraines away, heaviness of the head, confusion, disorientation. The God who has taken it away on this mountain. The God who has healed viral infections of every sort, removed cancer, healed cancer of 16 years. The God who just healed another cancer, made a woman to be cancer free. The God who has taken away 10 years of spinal cord dislocation. The God who has taken away years of allergy. The God who has healed cerebral infract. The God who has healed mothers of cancer. 11 years old, healed of sleep disc. The God who has done this. I hear he will do your own. Tania took about. One of our daughters called me yesterday. Listen to me. She is she was divorced and life looked like she would not be married. And she joined us a few months ago. She just called me yesterday and said, Sir, you need to talk to my husband. I said, Ah, your husband. Pastor, it was so quick. They finished traditional. They are legal, married. The man came from Canada. They are watching me now. She out. Oh, she has God has so blessed her with a man that loves God. He wakes up every midnight to join us in prayer from Canada. And the man and I got talking yesterday. And the joy that I felt that a woman that the enemy has taught, she has hit her dead end. Somebody's watching me. You are above 45. And you are saying, can there be marriage in my future again? Not only shall you be married, you shall be happily married. Amen. Your wedding will make you shed tears of joy. Amen. You will look around your wedding venue and you will say, is this be me? There's a family watching me. And it's like they place an embargo on the children in that family. That everything may work for them, but not marriage. So we are having late kids with age who are aging, and they are not married. I hear the Lord saying, I should announce to you, the embargo over your family is lifted. Amen. The embargo over your mother's children, they are lifted. Whosoever has sworn with an altar that your mother's children will not see the day of their joy. Whosoever has covenanted with hell. Whosoever has gone to the forest. Whosoever has carried your mother's children to the altar and shrines of wickedness. That your mother's children will not see the day of joy. The breakers anointing fall on you. I command the door of marriage to be open. Type and declare the door is open. I'm seeing this happening. I command them in their parties to begin to marry. Lord, we open the door for parties to begin to marry. Everyone in parties waiting on God for marriage, your doors are open. I command the door to be open for the forties. Begin to marry. Begin to marry. Kupon Variata. Forty-one marry. Forty-two marry. Forty on the dot marry. Forty-three, forty-four marry. Forty-five marry. Six, forty-six and seven marry. Forty-eight and forty-nine. The door is open. Every door closed against your marital joy is shattered open. Is shattered open. Is shattered open. Somebody, I hear a whisper. 
Pastor Sam, are you going to leave those of us in the 50s? Uh, and why? <laughs> you are in your jubilee. 50s are your jubilee. Everyone in 50. Pastor, a woman comes and she says, Pastor, I am 51. No man has ever married me. 51. My two black, 50, sorry. And you know what? On this platform, last year, there about we declared that was 2019 towards 2020. I had stood and declared that those between 45 and 51 will get married. 40 something and 51, they were 50 something. And in that season, she is watching us now all the way in the United Kingdom. And Maka got married. God blessed her with a man. After the broadcast, the family of the man called and said, Let your, our son marry you. She said, Pastor Sam, I've never seen something like this. Another woman at 51. A grandmother, her daughter worships with us. The daughter has a daughter, and the mother got married. A man came from America to marry 51. You were in church. Sir. They came to do Thanksgiving in our church. Sato many and Kotelaka. And you are telling me 50 something is too late. Is anything too hard for our God? By this same time next year. You will be among the 25 that will testify Amen. that between 30 and 50 when I pray, your door was open. Amen. It will be quick. Amen. It will be quick. Amen. From the time the man shows up, it will be quick. Amen. It will be quick. Amen. And it will be a correct one. Amen. It will not be a scam. Amen. It will not be a reproach. Amen. It will be the joy of your life. Amen. Heaven has reserved it for you. Your joy will not be cut short. Samanu ketariata. I'll take even praise. Simanon telekoshakatea. Jilando braketo skandeliata. Go ahead and just declare over that. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Masha. Down but not out. You are not out in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Down but not out. Down but not out. Down but not out. Down but not out. I saw one being open and I saw one being closed. Capacity. Listen, man. Yes. My God. Come on. Be short. Be short. Capacity. Hey. The door to your joy, to happiness. Be open. Be open right now. Sabia no secretes. Carlos. You're not you coming up right away Push. in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey. What has kept you down is being shot down in the name of Jesus. Hey. The dust of greatness is over and you're coming up and you're coming up in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey. Amen. 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 Please just go ahead. I'd like you to begin to walk around your room and change the atmosphere with your words. Just begin to speak over the atmosphere in your own house. Begin to speak into the atmosphere. Begin to declare by the words of our God. I'm coming to a new season now. Mantico Sipanto Fratesiata. Hanshanen Katolia Tesakatesia. I want somebody to declare the season of rough waters are over is over. The season of being in rough waters is over. Shananti kosketa bando viet lekunonde prato zeledes katozia he shalando roske na manderi ate paruskata zilukuto brande ziatas lenono shakande retuze la kuste kat hani biaton like ne mentero si kataza hashani liko beronde ketele kozi atala mosta in Jesus name we pray. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Mm. You, you know, in Songs of Solomon, in chapter 4, in verse 16, the word of the Lord said, All north wind blow over my garden. That my spices that have been trapped in the garden may flow out by your help. You don't get this. He said, I carry spices. Yes. Hello, ma'am. 
you know spices are not needed in the garden. You, 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 the garden doesn't use spices. The garden produces spices. Spices are meant for consumption in people's houses. Spices go to nations. They ship spices. Some spices travel first class in people's bags because they are that important that people must carry them along. Spices are not meant to be trapped. Spices are not meant to be trapped in the garden. The beauty of a spice is in the place of use. In the place of use. No spices has value in the garden. The value of a spice is outside the garden. They pay for it outside the garden. Read the So here is the word of the Lord. He said, Not wind, come and blow on my garden so that my spices can go beyond the garden so that my spices can travel on the strength of the wind you didn't hear me so i feel like flying i tell you listen to me you have to hear me i'm about to pray for your family spices can travel until they are aided the spice will be trapped until somebody picks it from the garden yeah. and transports it. Oh. And so the song of Solomon says, not wind, come. Hey. Come, Mountain. come not wind. Blow on my garden Amen. and help me transport Amen. my spices. Amen. Let my spices flow out of my garden. Amen. I came to pray for your mother's children. They cannot be this blessed and trapped. They cannot be this blessed and limited. From today, not wind of the Spirit of God. Begin to blow on this family. Begin to blow on the Oyes family. Begin to blow on the Shegu Jones family. Begin to blow on everyone's family. Let them not wind. Begin to blow out of your father's Amen. house. Amen. The spices trapped in the house. Amen. Let the wind of connection change the direction of your family. Let the wind of favor blow on your mother's children. Send them out of your garden. No more limitation. Let the wind that blew Joseph out of his father's house to his prophetic destiny let that wind blow so that you can reach your destiny your brother will be aided up your sister will receive the wind of heaven the wind of favor blow over your family if one thousand of you will type and declare wind of the lord blow over my father's house and let trapped potentials begin to flow. Open your mouth and begin to declare that. My God, my God. Shut it. No more shall your father's house remain a symmetry and a host of potentials that should flow out. Potentials will not die in your father's house. Your father's children will not die as potentials. This is not a prayer for kids. This is not a prayer for wishy-washy Christians. You will open your mouth. Listen to me. Until the wind of the prophetic hit and located David, David will have died in his father's house. David will have died there like that. A potential will have been wasted in the wilderness. 
Lesus prakotos yata. Limbre to zaliata. Until the wind of the spirit came to carry Joseph from his father's house to Egypt, he would have died as one of the brethren. Hesila dusiata. Until the wind carried Esther as a captive with Mordecai. She would have died. In fact, her father had to die. Her mother had to die. So that they would not limit the girl. Somebody is going to pray like you've never prayed before. You will say, oh, not wind. Oh, wind of the Spirit of God. Blow on my father's house. Blow on my siblings. Wake them up. Locate them. Locate them. Locate them. They can't die like this. Mention their name. Type their name. And say, my brother, you will not die with potential. My sister, Yemi, you will not die with potential. Sonny, you will not die with potential. Friday, you will not die with potential. Auntie Rose, you will not die with potential. Akatea, Izila Kutapa, Retekendeva, walk around your room. Call your brothers, my husband, my husband. You will not die like this. You will not be wasted in my hands. You will not die in this garden. Let the not wind. Blow my husband to his prophetic destiny. My husband, my heart, my wife, let the not wind. Mary Oye, let the not wind blow on you. Move you to your prophetic destiny. Somebody Somebody sensing breakthrough. Your family will never remain the same. My God, if you really pray, something is shifting. As you are praying, I want you to get violent in the place of prayer. Something will break. Something is breaking. It's breaking. Clouds are shifting over your family. Your brother will prosper. Your sister will prosper. Your father will prosper. Your wife will prosper. Your husband will prosper. Your children will prosper. Wind of the Lord. Not wind from the Lord. Blow on my son David. Blow on my daughter Darlene. Let their potential flow out. Let their gift flow out. Let their talent flow. In the name of Jesus. Let the north wind blow on you. Zikamande Chioma, let the north wind blow on you. Zemia Tukatia, Davida, let the north wind blow on you. Your potential will flow. The world will find you. How how your potential begins to flow. As the north wind blows, blow over your life. Blow over your garden. Blow over your career. Your potentials will not be trapped. Your destiny will not be trapped. Whatever has covered you is removed. From this moment, those who need to find you will find you. The covering over you is taken away. The covering limitation is taken away. The north wind blow over you. And Melin, the north wind blow over you. In Jinky, the north wind blow over you. Nakando Viatas commanded your testa. Open your mouth and say, My father, my father. Let the north wind blow. Let the north wind blow. Roots of Tingatesiata. Les Amprofecatesia. Felicia, the north wind blow. Nata came to Pekestata. No Pratesiata. When they are doing that promotion exercise, the north wind will lift you up. You will be the chosen. When they are trying to select the company, they will give the contract. The north wind will blow in your favor. Zikupon Koferetesta, Hashatia Mandeka Teskata, Leborofibiantosta. When it's time to choose one, the North Wind will speak for you. Zikupon Krakatiata, open your mouth and declare North Wind, blow upon my garden, blow upon my family, and let our spices flow. Let the ocean. She no more rose than an idiot. He received that rose than an idiot. 
Breathe upon this one, breathe upon them. I come in the spirit of Ezekiel and I said, North wind come, blow upon this family, blow upon every family, not wind come from the Lord, blow upon every prayer request, reach every home right now in the name that is above every other name. Remove this limitation, unleash their glorious potential. Let every family that is carrying potentials begin to see the unleashing of your potential. Makanto viata, whatever has been held back from your father's children, it's been released as I speak. Your healing begins to blossom now. As I'm laying my hands on this request, and the ones that are not in this on this table, right in the office, right online, the ones in your house, I decree and I declare, not wind blow. Stretch your hand in this direction. Neko to Bandaba. I see breakthroughs coming. I see testimonies coming. The testimonies you've been asking for. I hear it has come. 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 Hear me and hear me well. As we're praying for not wind, yeah. the Lord began, began to say to me, said, my son, don't just pray for not wind. He said, let there be earthquake. Let there be earthquakes. Let there be earthquakes in the spirit realm. Let there be earthquakes. Acts of the Apostle chapter 26. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas began to pray. And then they began to sing. And then the Bible says suddenly, there was an earthquake. There was an earthquake. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An earthquake that was earthquake enough. So earthquake enough that they can know there is earthquake. But it does not destroy the prison. What the Bible says happened was that. When the earthquake began to happen. The Bible says chains began to fall. Let there be earthquake. Let there be earthquake. The Bible, the Bible says everyone's chain fell. Every family member's chain must fall. Somebody say earthquake. Somebody type it. Say Holy Ghost. Cause an earthquake in the foundation of my father's house. Let there be earthquake. Enough to break our chains. People need to hear this. Jesus was in the tomb. For Jesus to come out, the Bible said there was an earthquake in the morning. And the Bible says the stone was rolled away. In this case, the Bible says there was an earthquake. And every man's door was here at Every man's door. Do you know that everybody's door, your family can be open? Yes. I am praying over my family. My own family. My extended family. I'm praying for my auntie, auntie, auntie Festa. I'm praying for her. I'm praying for the people that God has used to bless me. I'm praying for Mama Lovett, who God used to give me a wife. I'm praying for Mama Sarah. I'm praying for my extended family, my, my in-laws. I pray for them. I pray for my sister. I pray for my mother. Ah, that the God of heaven will send an earthquake so deep to the foundations of our families until there is enough earthquake to cause all our doors to be open. Not one man's door, not one family member's door, all family members, no member depending on another family member, all your doors. And they will know your doors are open. Earthquake enough to open your door. Amen. If your family members are not here, we are playing. I'm telling you. I, I only have six minutes. I've never started declaring 12 things I need to declare. I will roll it over. Hear me, hear me, Wester. 
There are earthquakes. I'm a geologist. I am trained as a geologist. And I understand earthquakes. There are different levels of earthquakes. Please get ready. I'm about to pray. Get your communion ready. Pastor Shegun. There are earthquakes between one to three. One, rich, one to three on the Richter scale. Instruments of measuring earthquake. But when an earthquake, you can have earthquake taking place in your house, you will not even know. And because it's not strong enough, it is not strong. It's not strong enough. And it's not strong enough to make the house move. But it's happening. And then there are, when earthquake hit five, you cannot ignore it. When an earthquake hit six to seven, even the oceans will respond. Sikati. Let's banda. The Bible says Paul and Silas prayed and sang and there was an earthquake. So noticeable. It was an earthquake enough to make all doors open. All chains fall. You are going to pray. You will continue to pray with this prayer after this broadcast. My father, my, my father, father, my father, my father. Send an earthquake deep and strong enough to alter my foundation and release my mother's children. My father, send an earthquake to this family. I'm praying for your family. Jehovah, send an earthquake deep to the root of your family. As I'm speaking now, Holy Father, locate this family. Locate this woman. Locate this man. Send an earthquake to the foundation of this family. Deep enough. Strong enough. Wide enough. Until everyone in this family is set free. Until their spices begin to flow. Until their glory begins to break out. Until their destiny begins to find expression. My father, send an earthquake as I'm praying now. Send an earthquake. Supernatural earthquake. Shake their foundation. Whatever is in your foundation that does not allow children to climb up and stay up, I shatter that foundation. You will begin to climb and you will continue to climb. You will never fall. Nisia to Palisia, whatever is in your foundation that does not make the woman to go forward, to get married, to carry children, Rasia to Veliata, I shatter the foundation. Whatever is in your foundation that does not make the children to carry money, Nisia to Felkatika to Skita, I break that foundation. From today, if you can put your hand on the screen, you will carry wealth. You will carry wealth. You will carry wealth. You will not beg another day. Your potential will flow. You will be a blessing to your world. Ideas will come from you that will rule the world. Your products will go to nations. Your products will go to nations. Your services will be celebrated by all. From today, whatever is in your foundation that makes your mother's children to be small, I shatter that foundation. Shall not one arise among your mother's children? Shall not one arise to glory? Shall not one arise to fame? As you partake of this communion, I decree the limitation over your mother's children are broken. Whatever is in your foundation, that makes your sister to be sick. You are sick. Your father is sick. It's like sickness is your second name. Fratikata. Silinto Felicatesia. Hashante Balco Fenendes. I command that affliction in your foundation to be shattered in the name of Jesus. You are healed as I speak. You are healed as I speak. You are healed as I speak. God is in Send down, send the earthquake. Amen. Father, send that quick to these families. Amen. Right now. Amen. Shake their foundations. No, 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 Until everyone's chain falls. Amen. Until every man's chain falls. Amen. 
until your mother's sons change fall. Until every man's door, your family is open. In this season, shall the doors of the many your household say of the Spirit of the Lord be, be opened. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, I have shaken the foundations. And I hear in this season saying the Spirit of the Lord, I will begin to open the doors for the men in your bloodline, for the men in your life. I hear in this season, say the Spirit of the Lord, woman of God, the Lord said the season has come when I will shake the foundations around you. And I hear the Lord saying, I will force your potentials out. I will force your giftings out. I'm hearing the oil of recognition. Amen. Madam, as you partake of this communion today, I hear the Lord say to me, you shall be recognized. Amen. Your talent will be recognized. Amen. Your gift will be recognized. Amen. And I hear you will be greatly rewarded. Amen. You have entered the season of recognition. Amen. You have entered the season of reward. Amen. Your children, I hear the foundation has been shaken. Amen. I hear the foundation under your children have been altered. Amen. I hear from this moment, your children are standing on a sure foundation. Amen. A foundation that will carry their glory. A foundation that will carry their wealth. Amen. A foundation that will carry long life. Amen. Your children stand upon such a foundation. Amen. Because you have prayed today, chains fall. Amen. Because you have prayed today, chains fall. Amen. As you take communion, chains fall. Amen. As you chains of sickness fall, Amen. chains of affliction fall, Amen. chains of reproach fall, Amen. doors, all doors be opened, Amen. all doors be opened. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Please pick up your communion. Ah, I can't declare the 12 things because of our time. We will continue family prayer tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a combination of praying for your family. Anybody sick in the family, afflicted, oppressed, drag them to this altar tomorrow. We will break 12 patterns. It must be broken. Father, I pray for someone who needs to partake of this communion, but the person is not yet saved. The person used to be a Christian, but you've wandered away under pressure you've decided to do things that don't honor God or you've come back as you come now just say with me dear Lord Jesus say I come to you I know you are my savior forgive me make me your child wash me in your blood write my name in your book of life in Jesus mighty name amen this is the body of the Lord Jesus Christ broken for you I declare it blessed Every waiting couple, your womb is open. You are the next to testify like others of conception. You have missed your period. You have missed your period. Yes, you Amen. have missed your period. Amen. And you will testify. Amen. Uh, heaven has interrupted your schedule. Amen. Heaven has interrupted your biology. Amen. Heaven has interrupted your system. I don't care to know whether they say your husband has spam or he doesn't have spam. He doesn't need spam. He needs seed. And God gives seed. Therefore, your womb carry the seed of your husband. Amen. Everyone watching who is sick as you partake of this now, the body of Christ battered for you will make your body better Amen. instantly. Amen. Please take the bread. Thank you, Jesus. Please go ahead and follow the body of the Lord with the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and take it. speak over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare from this moment you will never find yourself in a dead end again. I decree that whatever is considered a dead end in your life now, let it be a new beginning. 
your soul is delivered from death your eyes will not see evil your feet will not walk into reproach your hands will not carry shame your ears will not hear evil because you have partaken of the body of the Lord every infirmity your body is cursed to its root you will not find it again that growth vanish in Jesus mighty name we pray and amen